y'all. I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is your weekly elemental reading, okay? This is for the earth signs. All right, so like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It's greatly loved and appreciated, okay? Um, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended, Masters, all things of light only with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are welcome into this reading, okay? Please give the earth signs the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Hey, y'all. Okay, so last night, Spirit had me like just pick a lot of cards from a lot of decks for each of the signs, okay? But it's not that many. That's just for you. Okay. So the overall energy is 11. Okay. That's the number. It is Siresta. I think that's how you say it. It says the angel of language. I freaking love these guys, yo. <laughs> They're so pretty. And they just have like so much in the picture. Um, You can like to wear a lot of colors. I mean, like, I always have on, like, a whole bunch of different colors usually, okay? <laughs> um, it says, animal guardian, trust your instincts, okay? So, I'm reading both of those. Okay, so, this is not the right one. <laughs> All right. So it says, if you have drawn this card, Siresta awakens memories of this innate ability you possess, namely awareness of the language of light. This awareness may be explicit, but undoubtedly implicit. You also know about the power of vibration of words and thoughts. You have the inner discipline to observe and supervise your mental processes, and you measure your speech with care. Words can wound and words can heal, and now you always choose the healing words. Although this may not have been the case in the past, still in your spiritual journey, you have gained this wisdom, and this is not an insignificant aspect of your personal evolution into higher levels of consciousness. You may practice affirmations or chant mantras, and you feel the profound effects that these empowering words have on your life. Stories connect directly to our creative imagination, the source of creation. Reflect on the synchronistic events in your life and imagine, oh my bad, an image of a friend or family member pops up in your mind or within a minute or so they call you, a tune comes to mind and then immediately after the song plays on the radio, you somehow knew or felt at an intuitive level when a loved one was in difficulties and you acted on this because you trusted your instincts. These are signs and messages that you are tuned into this higher frequency. You are indeed on the right path to embracing with cognizance the language of light. If you drew this car, oh, no, no, no. That's the reverse meaning, okay? So it says, angels communicate with humans with a language of light that resonates with every cell of our body, okay? You know about the power of vibration of words, it said that, okay? You are on the right path to embracing with cognizance the language of light. So you know how to, you know, you sprecking, okay? <laughs> you speak the language of light, which is awesome, okay? That means that you could connect, you know, to the other side, <laughs> you could, you know, communicate with any of the angelic beings or ascended masters. So this one says, trust your instincts. Okay. This is why they're telling you to trust your instincts because you already, like it said, at an intuitive level, understand what it is that you're supposed to be doing and you know when you're doing the right thing you can feel it like <laughs> in your bones almost okay so this one it says it represents the angel of the animal kingdom okay the animal guardian card it says trust the powerful animal spirit within to learn more about yourself and your talents okay so you could look up like this the um 
crow symbolism or the owl, the panther, or the deer, I think that is, in her hand, okay? It says you have a powerful animal within that can be wild, protective, instinctive, and even calm. Animals don't second guess how they feel. They just express it, and you can learn from that. When this card arises, it's important to connect with how you really feel, how you want to feel, and what you really need. Take the time to connect with your animal energy and express it naturally. Let even the fiercest energy move through you before returning to your natural state. It will teach you a lot of things about your gifts and how you can grow. You know, and it's like the light language expresses itself through everything that you do. You know what I mean? Even when you don't realize, you know, you're pushing this light out, you know, that's why you're called a light worker, you know, <laughs> because, um, a lot of times, you know, spirit works through you guys in a special kind of way. Okay. So, um, we got time to play. Okay. With frisky and we got, let it go. And that's what they were saying, you know, like about the animal within you, you know what I mean? Like it's time to, you know, play, you know, frolic like an animal <laughs> in the wild would do, you know what I mean? Like, like stop taking life so serious. Look, it said indulgence, permission to pamper, you know, like take your time, you know, <laughs> but this says expose time to come clean. Okay. So I don't know. And this says cautious, beware of dogs, okay? So maybe you could have had some people get exposed to you recently, okay? Or maybe someone wants to like come around and I don't know. I really heard half ass expose themselves. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I mean, like they want to come tell you a little bit so you won't be cautious and, you know, beware of them. And spirit saying, you know, if you do tell yourself that you can't do anything, you know, like there's a need for you to like drop the T, you know, like this says, I, I used to say I can't do anything, but the cat, you know, taking the leap of faith, knocked the T down and had just had trust um, in the leap that they were taking, you know, because the cat is an animal, you know what I mean? It just feels intuitively what it wants to do and it's not scared to do it. You know what I mean? Even if it is fighting a dog, the cat will whoop a dog ass. Okay. <laughs> and it's way, sometimes they're way smaller than the dog, but a cat will whoop a big dog's ass. Okay. The song says, sometimes I feel like fuck you and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like, don't let people, you know, upset you. Okay. So um, this could be this person that they're like cautioning you about, you know, is someone who is really in love with you. You know what I'm saying? And like, they really want you to come and party with them. Okay. But they have something else going on on the side. You know, it says, um, I go to them for my kinks. Okay. So I don't know, maybe they want, they could have tried to put you in some sort of third party situation or, they could just be, I don't I don't even know, but it does say looking good for you, okay? And it says checking cell phones. So I don't know, maybe they're checking on their phone to look into your business or maybe whoever they're with now is like checking their phone, trying to see if they're talking to you. I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. I didn't really look at these, so I don't know. I mean, I'm like just, I'm just as surprised as you. Okay, look. It's just exactly what the song said. You must have gone and bumped your head because you ain't all that fine and something. I ain't all that scared or something. It says breaking up happy homes, chaos agent, home wrecker. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm not tripping. I'm seeing what I'm seeing, okay? So maybe that person, maybe that this person is with somebody else, okay? And they're feeling like, you know, you're some type of homewrecker or something. Or maybe they're a homewrecker and they know that and they're trying to stay away from them because they feed their kinks. I'm just trying to work it out. Whatever it is, it's selfish, you know? The song's saying selfish love. 
but you could be someone who's into a lot of herbal remedies, okay? A lot of, like, diet, exercising, living a very healthy lifestyle, okay? But you have all the um, spiritual protection that you need, okay? It says raising vibes, being selective, and vetting people, okay? So this is what they're saying, you know? Pay attention to people trying to come around, you know what I mean? And say they're in love with you, you know? And then going somewhere else and trying to, like, <laughs> trying to, like, Get, get kinky, like, because this says emergency, 911 calls, altercation, hospital, accident, help, okay? And it says new additions to the family, right here. I don't know, which really gives me, like, somebody having a baby <laughs> honestly <laughs> this thing here i don't know somebody could have gotten into an accident recently okay where they called 911 or these this couple that's in your energy could be like fighting to the point where they call like where the police get called because like people was checking phones and doing all kinds of stuff. Like, I don't know. All I know is spirit, like you just keep on um, <laughs> taking the actions that you are taking. Okay. Like, I don't know. I feel like they want me to just like skip over the drama, you know, but that's symbolic, you know, they want you to just skip over the drama. Like you don't need it. <laughs> okay. The, your reality is up to you, okay? It's what you make of it, you know? But like it's, it said, you know, vet people and make sure that you really know what they're into, okay? Because, you know, it's unlikely, it's unlikely that, you know, that will turn out good if you're not vetting folks. Like, really, that's what it's saying. I don't know. You could even be in a relationship, you know, and there's somebody that has like some sort of like, like they like to party a lot and they got all of these kinks, you know what I mean? And they want to come in and try to break up your happy home, you know? But like I said, everything's up to you, okay? It's You already know the proper actions to take because you're receiving these light codes and light languages and all the right messages, you know? Spirit's saying, you know, follow yourself. It's unlikely that you'll go the wrong way or, you know, act out of character. All you have to do is just pay a little bit of attention, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the dogs or whatever could be lurking around the corner is always going to be exposed, okay? Because you Spreckin <laughs> the light language, I say again, okay? So that's why it says trust your instincts, okay? Really, you should really go and look at, I'm gonna I'm tell you one of them, okay? But it was the crow, the owl, the panther, and the deer. But I am really looking at the panther. Damn it. It's off, okay, look. So crystals, okay, natural elements used to promote physical, emotional, and spiritual health, health, I mean, or healing. Use them to positively interact with your energy field, okay? So maybe get you some crystals, okay? Um, charge them with love, energy, and then just carry them on you, okay? Because it helps you to maintain your vibration, you know? And also, crystals really help because they're like, a physical thing, you know what I mean? Like you can get, you know, like a really black stone, you know, for protection. And it's not like, it's not the crystals that are doing the protecting. Really, it's you maintaining your own like personal force field of protection around you. But the physical thing, you know, on you, when you look at it, you know what I mean? It puts protection in your mind, okay? So that you keep your protection up, okay? This is how it really works, you know? Spirit's just saying, trust yourself and your instincts because you're way more complex than you, you're giving yourself credit for, okay? This says news, okay? It says scripted reports of, re of events taking place that serve to push a specific agenda being fed lies and half truths. Be careful not to be bamboozled. Okay, so um, 
maybe don't watch the news. Okay. <laughs> the news, um, is really like heavy programming in my opinion. Okay. <laughs> but, um, also they push like, you know, a sad, depressing kind of energy on the news. Okay. So, you know, as little news as possible will be great. Okay. Look, and also, you know, just be careful about what you're hearing. You know what I mean? Like what you're hearing being said around or whatever, if you do run into any type of rumors or whatever like that, you know, don't even react to that shit, you know, because rumors like can get you <laughs> like rumors, like they don't matter. Okay. They're just not important. I really feel like it just doesn't matter what anyone's saying about you behind your back, you know, but also be careful what people are saying to you about other people and don't take what they said for face value, you know, always still get to know that person because you never know. They could just be a hater and they could just not want you to talk to said person. Okay. <sighs> Which makes me think that that scenario I was talking about earlier could also be like, you know, someone trying to pick between you and your friend, you know what I mean? They're in love with you, but they want to party with your friend. But anyways, we got Galactic Grandmother, okay? That's the last card, and I'm going to read it. But first, I want to tell you the panther um, symbolism. But I mean, they have like whole paragraphs, you know, and it is really interesting, okay, the way that the animal personality traits and even the ways that they live, you know, will really match your own like living and moving habits. Okay. So, you know, and the way they hunt and just the way the animal gets down. So you should really look into the symbolism. Okay. Um, but right here, it says that the Panther has reemerged as a symbol of leadership and unity. It says in comics, civil rights, activism, and now cinema, the feline has become synonymous with equality and strength, okay? I'll take it easy. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Did I pass it? I definitely passed it. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Mm. I really don't see it. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So it says Galactic Grandmother attributes Mother Nature wisdom, stern but loving grandparent. Okay. So you can have. I was thinking that too when I when I first touched the card. Okay, you could have like um, a grandmother or a mother type of figure, you know, guiding you in the spiritual realm. Okay, um, and also you could be just like an outside person, really connected with Mother Nature. But you're very very wise for sure. Okay, it says the, the galactic grandmother is providing you her blessing of love and joy. She wants only what's best for you, but she will smack you over the head and set you straight if you veered off. She's a stern but loving bubba, and your galactic grandmother isn't afraid to call you on your BS. Grandmother is the essence of Pachamama, the earth or mother nature, okay? Come sit for a bit of cake and tea. She's here to share with you the timeless wisdom of stories, value, and guidance passed down from the ages. So it says, can you share a little bit of your, wis of your wisdom needed now? What is my role in serving the earth at this time? And how can I be more in alignment with mother nature? Um, you could ask mother nature to like tell you a story or you could ask mother nature, where do I belong? Okay. Um, there's a lot of different, especially if you have like cards, you know, you really can like ask nature a question. Okay. <laughs> and then like, um, you know, deal the cards and it will really answer it. Okay. And you'll be surprised what kind of answers you're you you can get but just know that you do speak the light language okay and when it comes to like sticky situations or emergencies or whatever you know you really show up so don't let people get you into those situations just so you'll be showing up or covering up 
or, you know, getting involved in no bullshit just for them. Okay. Just, um, keep, stay on your path. You know what I mean? And keep, you know, operating from that energy of love and taking the actions that you feel in your soul. Okay. You should be straight. <laughs> and that's all I have for you. Okay. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later.